This is Pat Solver with the Dr. Ways In, and we're at the closing hours of Health 2.0 at the Santa Clara Convention Center. But I'm really, really lucky that Sina Fate, who's an ophthalmologist, a serial entrepreneur, and the CEO of Althir. Did I say it right? Actually, I'm the executive vice president of Althir and a really co founder of Althir. I'm not the CEO. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have the CEO. He's just an EVP. EVP. Okay, oh, only an EVP. And and um, we're going to have a really fun talk because what Althea is, is they've developed a 3D Google Glass. Only it's not really a Google Glass. Oh, Tell I, us what you're up to. Yes, actually, uh, it's not a Google Glass. It's, we're doing a lot more. We have a lot more features than a Google Glass. And number one main difference is we, have, we use our two eyes. And Google Glass only uses one of our eyes. And that's because we provide 3D augmented reality. And it's not only 3D augmented reality, but it's a interactive augmented reality. And that's the other difference. We basically can reach and interact with the content with floating in front of you in the space. And that's very, very unique. So you're not going to drive with these? Actually, in the future, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and since we're at a healthcare conference, can you tell me um, when you got involved in designing and developing these glasses? What kind of healthcare applications did you have in mind? Actually, uh, again, uh, the company mind was, let's start by solving problem instead of building a cool 3D glass and then realizing who's going to buy it, who's going to use it. And, and being a doctor, I had so many ideas. I had so many problems. I wish I had that when I was a med student. I wish I had that when I started to do my training in surgery. And now it's going to be available. It's and so could I use it? Let's go back to the medical school idea. Can I actually use it if I was a medical school or a resident to hone surgical skills, or is it really not, uh, is that not a use? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can start by very simple application, like accessing any existing Android data or application, and there are tons of them. Then you can go to 3D more complex application, and there are companies building and developing that, but they don't have the right tool to accessing that. They don't have the right intuitive 3D tool to access, view, and actually interact with this content. You can absolutely use that. They are very comfortable. You can use them, wear them for many hours, which is very unique. They are not going to provide you any headache. They are not going to give you any um, eye fatigue. And that's, we are very proud. I'm very proud of that because I designed it. But we, we are really, these are very important feature that you have to provide to the user. Otherwise, it's going to be another heads up display on the shelf. Nice to have, but nobody going to use. Right. So why don't we see them? Why don't, why don't you show us what they look like? This is a, you know, a dev kit. That's why it's like that. Uh, has two, as I say, two optics. Okay. They're transparent. That means when I'm going to wear them, actually, I can keep my glasses. And you can go up on top of your glasses. You have a transparent optic. That means I can see the world. I can see you very well. Uh -huh. So you can see me. You can, you can look at me, and I look normal. Absolutely. Okay. You, can look, you, you look perfect. As, as normal as I Of course, you look perfect. <laughs> now, the, the other aspect is while I'm wearing them, since I see the real world, I can also see on top of the real world, a floating content. And how I'm going to reach that, as you mentioned, I'm not going to touch my glass. I'm going to touch the content. And where is the content? It's here. I'm clicking and opening an application. I can swipe the application. I can zoom the application. If it's a 3D object, I can turn the, I can turn the image very intuitively, exactly if I had a floating heart, a real heart in my hand. If you want to see the other view, you just Turn it. And since we have camera, I can share, share my viewpoint with you. We are so a surgeon. Oh, or if you have a computer sitting in another hospital, in another office, the other side of the planet, and you want to share, I want your advice, you're going to see what I'm seeing. That's very, very unique while I'm doing my operation. And as you see, the whole visual field down is open, which is I can do my procedure. I can see the content. I don't have to change anything. I have don't have to remove the whole uh, optics. No, it's very comfortable. I can see you. I do my procedure. I'm going to share with you what I'm doing. And you can tell me, don't do that. This is not the right thing to do, or this is perfect. Are these available now? Do you have customers now? Do you have um, clinical sites that are using them? And, and, uh, and do you have anything that you can say about the utility from the point of view of your customers, if you have them? Yes, actually, we, uh, as I mentioned, this is very important for us. We don't want only to do a technology. 
you know, looking for a solution. Um, what we have right now is a dev kit. It's available. Uh, we really select the partner. We really go after enterprise and professional application, including healthcare and me medical application. We have ongoing pilot. Unfortunately, I cannot sh share them with you, but we have ongoing pilot. And the product would be ready on the market middle of next year. It's not something in five years. It's not a dream in five or six years. It's middle of next year. We will have our first product uh, for enterprise application, professional application on the market. And so I think we'll close be, by just having you say a word. You mentioned that you're looking for enterprise developers, but is this an, a completely open API where, like with Google Glass, people come in and are developing applications uh, for it, or are you being uh, more selective, or is it some combination oh, of the two? Absolutely, absolutely. It's open. We have API SDK available to the developer. They can use that. It's uh, compatible, as I mentioned, to, to Android. Any developer can use it. It's, it's extremely well-designed SDK by our team, of course, the API, and they can, they can use it, and it's available to our to select it. Well, thank you very much. I, I think I could, uh, I can say that um, we've seen the future and it's next year, middle of next year. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank, thank, you, thank you very, very much. much. Thank you very much.